morning superstars or good afternoon or good evening or good whatever time it is whenever you're what in the world is that <laughs> gosh whew. i opened the door for like five seconds and all these birds come in y'all be careful out there okay happy monday welcome to another week of reading with Miss Tarango. So glad to have you all here. So today we're starting a new theme. We are talking about another animal. We are reading, we are learning and reading about fish. All right, so I found a really cool book on Get Epic. And we're gonna read it today. If you wanna read it, you can log on to Get Epic and read it as well. So this is called Catfish, Cod, Salmon, and Scrod. What is a Fish? By Brian P. Cleary. What's a type of animal that swims both day and night and lives beneath the water? If you guessed a fish, you're right. Fish can use their gills to breathe, and all of them have tails. Also fins to help them steer, and most of them have scales. Fish are vertebrae, which means that they all have a spine, a built-in kind of backbone that is part of their design. Most fish are cold-blooded, so their temperature conforms to that of their surroundings, whether cool or hot or warm. Some are spotted. Some are striped. Some are multicolored. Some are bright and beautiful. And some a little duller. Can you name a type of fish? There's catfish, carp, and cod, marlin, mackerel, man of war. There's salmon, shark, and scrod. Piranhas are another fish. And if you were to get one, you'd watch it and you'd feed it, but you wouldn't want to pet one. <laughs> The stingray and the guppy are among the very few. They don't lay eggs, but give live birth when adding to their crew. Some fish live in oceans and other streams and lakes. Some share their homes with humpback whales and some with ducks and drakes. Some eat plants like seaweed, while some others eat other fishes. A few eat bugs and plankton, and they both find them delicious. Some are smaller than your thumb. Still, other fish can grow. To be about the size of two big trucks parked in a row. That is big. Some fish walk a bit on land, and others briefly fly. Using large pectoral fins, they glide into the sky. This book contains more fishy facts in back, just look and see. So if you've ever tested, so if you're ever tested, then you'll pass it swimmingly. <laughs> So what is a fish? Do you know? An animal is a fish if it lives its entire life in water. It has a backbone. It's a vertebrate. In addition, all fish have gills, have fins, and most fish are born from eggs, have scales, are cold-blooded animals, this means that they cannot make their own body heat. 
and their bodies are the same temperatures as their surroundings. And that's it. Let's finish it to get I am racking up these prizes. So, what did you learn new today? Did you learn something new about fishes? Did you know that a fish has to have all those things in order to be considered a fish? So, we've got another awesome project or activity or surprise that we're doing today about fish. So, I hope you hop back on at 2 30 for our next Zoom session. Love you, miss you, and I'll see you this afternoon.